over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. But overall, it was a, it was a good fight weekend. You know, Friday, Saturday, you know. It was entertaining. There was a lot of entertainment, you know, and you know, and it was good for boxing, you know. In, uh, you know, so there's nothing we, we can't complain that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly not as much as someone else who were, you know, in our final topic of the night, who, uh, who finally decided to make public his thoughts on certain things, and they are quite controversial to say the least. Of course, the person I'm talking about is former heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Oh, AKA Deontay Bailey. Deontay Bailey. Um, <laughs> wrong with a punch. <laughs> I mean, if this, going out, this nigga going out sad. Like, at this point, I'm like, I feel sorry for this motherfucker. Yeah. Now, Mr. A million, a million. <laughs> Boom, 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 million. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, now, 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 one of the first things, like, obviously, when Deontay Wilder lost his belt in, in the rematch, you know, there was a million more excuses, but not not made for him, but from other people, you know, in this case. It's like, he has a his, his friends is like, well, you know, Fury cheated, like, he had one loaded glove, and he had a glove that he slipped down to his wrist or some shit like that. Which, you know, if you, if, now, if you want to call a foul, you, you might want to use just use one of one of the glove reasons because there's no way a fighter can go in the ring with a floppy glove and a loaded glove at the same time. It does not happen. Like that shit don't even sound real. Like, yeah. like it's too many well thought out, calculated excuses coming. I mean, you. At first, like, at first, like pick one and stick with it, nigga. Like, I, honestly, honestly, the first time I heard it, I didn't like completely dismiss it because I would see pictures, and I'm like thinking like, because I've worn boxing gloves and like. That shit don't look like that. So I'm like, okay. But then just the more that came out, and then it was a different excuse. So I'm like, okay, you know, now now I can't even really put my hat to that. You know, put my hat to that one because you came up with another one, two different ones. Yeah. And then and then the, by the, by the end of the week, it'd be the damn the costume. Yeah, yeah, the costume <laughs> too heavy, you know, and shit like that. It's it's like, just- you can't have that many, like like like. You can't have five, you know, excuses, and, and they accompanied by a damn essay, research, and videos, and yeah, and wow. the, and, and the thing that's probably that's probably like assessing like it was a whole bunch of non-boxing ass niggas, you know, like niggas that. Uh, but but Wilder's buying into it too. It's like he's kind of they're like feeding off each other, like like I don't know, like dual parasites, like. Yeah, but, but at the time the Wilder wasn't saying shit. And before Wilder was like, you know, it was just, you know, it, was my, it was just wasn't my night. I think he was speaking with niggas. He wasn't saying shit personally, but like somebody like that was probably fighting demons in his house. He couldn't probably believe he lost. Yeah, you know, but but for the most part, he was quiet. You know, he was quiet, like literally, like the whole summer. You know, they were trying to get the the third fight off. You know, COVID kind of killed the the, third, the immediate third fight, which you know Wilder was tied to his benefit because. You know, the biggest thing that we've always said he needs to do is work fucking boxing. You know, like, this, this, is, this, this is why he got crazy. Hard to damn work on your boxing when you're firing the only nigga who know boxing in the fucking gym. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that, that, and that I mean, it was, it, that came out as a surprise because it was like, you know, the guy that probably, that probably helped you the most in your career, in your, your phone side. And, and, not, and it wasn't because, it was simply because he did the right thing. But remember, Shelly Finkel kind of maneuvered it to where, like, Breland was in the corner for Wilder. Like, I don't think Wilder ever really picked dude or fucked with dude like that. Like, I think that was more reassuring from the powers that be to keep Wilder skillfully in line, like, technically, and to kind of match him up well, which he's been working all the way until now, but... Right, I mean, you could tell Wilder's one of those guys that you gotta be really be hands on everything with this nigga career. Like, you can't let him speak too much because when he does, he say stupid shit like the shit he been doing, and he even contradicted himself. 
<laughs> With the whole um one way is it black girl lost or shorty owe you for ice? Like like yeah. did, uh, did they offer you more money than AJ? I mean than the Fury fight? Did they offer you the one twenty million? Yeah, which is, they did. The first thing yeah. they probably didn't do anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah did, did they offer you that or or you know, you being a, a a nice guy giving a guy like Fury a, a chance of redemption. Like, yeah. like what story you want to play, nigga? Yeah, like the funny thing too is like, I mean, cause, you know, you know, what, some of the Wilder fans and the supporters were like, oh yeah, no, the zone didn't come correct. Ha ha ha, the zone didn't come correct with no money. You know, the zone didn't. Know, Luda Bella got fired over that deal, ain't it? Yeah, <laughs> but, but like everybody's taking L's because a Wilder dumbass won't take fucking life changing money. Yeah, and Debella and the fucking Debella actually came out like a saint. Like Debella has his issues, but this wasn't one of them. Debella did his job, and yeah. and because because you know it was whatever narrative that they were trying to push, because like to get you know in, you know it was like okay you know we gotta say face, so we gotta say Debella was probably bullshitting and doing stuff that wasn't in line with the team. But actually, he did he did everything he was supposed to do. But like I said, you know, but I, I, I guess it's just, it's just the thing. He, like, he was the guy that had to fall on the sword. Why does everybody else have to fall on the fo- on the sword for this nigga's dumbassery? Yeah, you know, and then, and then Mark, and then, well, I said the the, one, the the Mark Breland shit really bothers me because no, yeah, that one legitimately bothers me. You know, with Deontay Wilder, obviously Deontay Wilder is you know to I mean to, to black people like I mean he 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 represents different things to like. Obviously, you know, if you didn't like well, Klitschko's as heavyweight champions, you know, and, you know, Deontay Wilder was like, okay, well, we got a black heavyweight champion. And then we got someone who, who you know, black Wilder also speaks on, on, on certain issues, you know, speaks on a lot of, a lot of race, um, racism and a lot of, like, you know, injustices. So people, people, so people like that. And, you know, and he's a character, you know, he's char- and he has one punch, not power in his right hand. It's this shit, like, to this day, like, basically, it's a whole wrapped up in a cocoon. You know that everyone you know, he was perceived as having one punch knockout power with his right hand when you when you match him carefully, right? You know, but monster has legit one punch power in both hands, right? You know, but you know Wilder was different, and then like I said, you know, if you obviously I I explained about Wilder's one trip pony shit, you know, to the point where I've gotten into fights with people, verbal fights about it, you know, but Deontay Bailey. Yeah, bail, yeah, but what happened? It's your bailout punch. Yeah, like the Fury fights were the Fury fight was a cherry pick. Was it, we all know what it was. It was a cherry pick, and it was a failed cherry pick. We but see, to- it was a it was a respectable cherry pick. It was one of those. Well, I mean, Fury's the lineal champion. You know, Fury's kind of skilled. Yeah, that you know, you it's like the Tank fight. It was done in a. It's like the Tank LSC fight. Is it was done in a way where. You couldn't get mad at it, like. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's still a cherry pick. But it wasn't like the ripe, sweet, juicy, luscious, oh man, enticing cherry that Kovalev was for Canelo, though. Yeah, no, it, and and it probably and for a different fight, it probably could have been, but for Deontay Wilder, it turned out to be a nightmare because it really exposed his lack of technical ability, a whole lack of business sense. Yeah, yeah, he he failed. And Bruh, it, like after he got the draw, the the good old fashioned PBC draw, mm-hmm. the dude should have ran to the hills for AJ and Hearn and make that fucking fight. Whoever wins gets the goals gets undisputed and has to fight Fury. Right, but it, well, it said what he got. You know, it, it said he was like, you know, they don't want us to win. You know, like do win, take accountability for for how he fought. Like, like nigga, we not training with you, like. And first of all, he couldn't train with me. Nah, get the fuck. He man, Wilder be fucking crying. <laughs> he get to one of my training sessions. Get the fuck out of here. Like that, that's why that nigga fired Breland, man. Like, like that shit don't sit well. I mean, it's like, 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 like Wilder doesn't do anything like that sit well with like any real nigga, man. Right, and then now, of course, you know, with this crazy ass interview, like one of the things, like. You know, Mark, he had a lot of smoke for Mark Breland, like saying that, oh, you know, Mark poisoned his water. He was a goose with the ref, you know, like, and all because Mark Breland saved him from possibly getting a TBI. Because that was what was going to happen. 
is you cannot let a six foot nine, two hundred and seventy pound man tee off on you. You cannot. You know, you get damaged. That's how. That's how you get hurt. You know, and it was just, it, it, it was so bad that he was like, he had so much smoke from. Him. But the trainer that actually watched dude get his hands wrapped didn't get gets no break. smoke. <laughs> not one bit, of smoke, not one bit, not one complaint. You know, and, and and like truthfully, and that's and that's what's like you got you, you got. And that just honestly tells me the dynamic that was going on in the gym. Like you could tell, J Diaz was the guy that was babying Wilder. You know, he always had the drinks ready. Yeah. You know, he was the one that maybe would film the twerk videos. I don't know, bro. Like, yeah, you know, and then and you could tell like there was a love hate relationship in that going around in that gym. It's wrong for a room. Then Breland show up, shake his head, and then niggas is like, "All right, man, let's get back to work." Yeah, you know, and then you know you real, and then you know there's nothing that happened, you know, and it was just sad too. Like for a nigga that is like, you know, oh, you know, you know, yes, black this, but but he throws the, he throws his black trainer under the bus for no fucking reason. You know, that, you, you gotta make it make sense, bro. Like, you know, like if you were, if you're gonna if you're gonna be on hold this- on the black the black trainer. That was saving him from getting brutalized by a white man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, and his white trainer, like, you know, who all thing he was doing is like, back up and throw the right hand. You know, that's, that's and his cool. white trainer allowed and wanted that to happen, but he's absolved of any wrongdoing. And, 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 and that's it. That, that's clown shit. Like, I mean, th- this is sucker shit right there. Like, what, 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 what me and LB just, what we just described. It's pure sucker shit. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, we got to, yeah, like, I, yeah, you, you're right. I don't think we've been going hard enough on this nigga. Like, like yeah. real real talk, like. The funny thing is, too, you got to. from he, clown. It, it's he, sucker shit now. Like, he used to be a clown, but when you're trying to fuck over people's careers and livelihood, like, like, Breland has enough shit where he could sue this dude. But, but he's not going. But Breland's such a nice guy that he's probably not even going to say anything. It, of, of course, like and I feel you, but that's what makes it so wrong. Like that's what makes no, it so no, that's bad. What like, I, you're, yeah, that's what makes it so terrible. Yeah, that, that's what really makes it sucker shit. Like the clown shit is really the excuses. But when you start, you know, coming out going against what you are about, you know, you want to be Malcolm X and Black Lives This, Black Lives Matter That, and then. You actively trying to fuck over another black person for no reason. For yeah, no reason. that's on some Oprah shit. Like, yeah. like I don't, I don't really rock with that. Like, yeah, like you can get, like you can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, for that, like you know, like like like, like dude, dude is a whole clown. Like and anyone who believes that Waters any anything that Waters says right now is a clown too. Like you, y'all need to get the fuck yeah. out of here. A sucker like, ass clown, like real, yeah. like real shit, like. Dude hit the overachievers lottery. Yeah. Like with his type of boxing skills and his emotions and his his delicate mindset. I don't see how he like like it's a miracle he got to this level in the sport. And really I'm talking about the stature. I'm talking about heavy ten heavyweight title defenses. You know, multi millionaire. And even though that took a while, it's it's the fact he got it. Yeah. And then remember, niggas be good thousandaires before they get millions. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And if you stacking and doing doing what you're supposed to do, but I know that nigga got mad jits, but still, like, yeah. I, I know niggas who <laughs> got four, five kids, and they, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, they it, it, no wilder money. So, you know, it's just like, I mean, the Deontay Wilder story, like, yeah, I mean, he, ca- he came up rough. Like, I mean, like, someone, someone like, you know, someone with his, Beginners in the sport probably should have never made it as far as like, like a like like someone like a fucking um, um, Ty Fields or whatever. Like, uh, it's just like, you know, but I mean, the, the man has a bronze gold, a bronze medal. Excuse me, bronze gold medal. <laughs> the bronze medal, and he made it to, and he made it to grabbing a piece of the heavyweight title in ten pound defense. Yeah, he overachieved like a, like a motherfucker though, but. Yeah, that's that's the biggest overachievement in boxing I've ever seen. Like, especially for the skill set and the delicate. Like, we we looking at a guy who sounds like 
and moves like you couldn't criticize him or train him in the gym. Like, like remember how this weekend we seen Michaela uh, Mayer just win a title where it was hard fought and she won clearly and her c- coach was still like she could have did better this that that and I could tell yeah, a part of her was coach a little Al. hurt yeah that, that's that's coach Al for you <laughs> yeah like like coach Al bro- broke it down and, and and honestly I feel where he's coming from because you know when you high on somebody and you know they got the goods and can do it then you know you expect more and I understand that you know but but you think Wilder could deal with that type of criticism day in day out Hell no. Fuck no. Like, ain't no way. Like, bro, like, dude would get mentally blasted out the gym. Like, like, like I've always said, like, somebody, like, saw something special in Wilder, which he does have something special. And they cultivated that. And then it worked. It was a double edged sword, man. Like, it worked for him and against him. Yeah. It's like they did it just to get the a monumental payoff. But they got the Constellation Prize payoff. Which is <laughs> yeah, it's a, no, it's, no, honestly, like that's what it comes across. I mean, do you, Deontay Wilder said it himself. I could have got more money for Joshua. Yeah, and, and that's but yeah, which, which, which you you talk so much now you've double talked yourself. Like you like okay, yeah. so you because you were saying that they ducked you, but then you're saying oh that you were offered more money that so. So, so did they duck you or or, or or were they offering you like which one is it now you, you're you talking yourself into a corner yeah and then yeah. Eddie Hurt, Eddie Hurt, well, you know he put that shit ASAP in know? the middle of the fight I believe like he was yeah. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so petty <laughs> yeah, so like, no, but it, it needed to be called out like <laughs> honest to God like remember everybody made a big deal about the whole the zone remember the zone was throwing around Scrooge McDuck money then like mm-hmm. so it was like if, if you're anywhere standing near a gym or a boxing match or whatever you had your hand out trying to finesse a, a payday too shit right and and these niggas are beating on Wilder's door yeah he he's letting niggas out talk him into that shit and talking about well you know this is Floyd training expense money like like stupid shit like that. Like, what? <laughs> and, and you know, the, the funniest part was he waited all this time, and like he, like this was calculated. He planned it to do it that day of because it was Tank and Mayweather's fighter, and he was probably tired of Mayweather always, you know, criticizing him. So he like had to throw in his thing to get all the lime to get some of the shine that day. I'm like, you could have said that at any time, but you said it now, like. You know. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's just like you know, I mean, I would say that he had, you know, he has, he put something in his glove that he took that they took, they gave, they spiked his water with muscle relaxer, you know, it's just it was just feeling all different. It's like, why are we just hearing about this now, man? Like, yeah, and this is after you know, pretty much like you know, um, a loophole, you know, got Fury out of actually doing the third and final fight. Yeah, which, you know, which is a whole another issue, you know, which I don't think Wilder really wanted. Hell no, if he didn't. I don't think he did. Like, the dude, dude ego hurt. Like, honestly, like, I don't see Wilder boxing anymore. Like, he's going to use the injury shit as an excuse and run with that and say, you know, Fury kind of ruined me with that, you know, that not on my head, whatever. Yeah. Like, like, I just get that whole vibe from him. I think he's comfortable. He's made enough money. If he's smart, he's gonna parlay it into WWF. I mean WWE or or movies or some shit or, or entertainment. But because he seems like he's an entertainer, like he got that personality, you know, I give him that. But yeah, you know, I mean, he's, he, he's not at the level mentally where he where he's trying to learn boxing and go to square one again. Like yeah, no, and then, and with this skill set, uh, and I said before, like it's only a matter of time, like. To lose to Fury is one thing, and I, first, I like the Fury loss because a lot of people, a lot of people are, are ignorant on time. I mean, I don't like Tyson Fury for a lot of different reasons, but a lot of them were like, you know, well, Fury's just a fat white dude, fat little white dude, C A C, you know, you know, what is it? What's he gonna do for a triple black? Man? I mean, I mean, Fury was a fat ass. It like was undisciplined and had issues, but I mean, so and shitty. So, but I mean, I get it. 
Yeah, no, but but yeah, but it's just because it's like you know, because why there's not gonna be over, and it's like, and then Fury is the one that exposes it. Like, if it was Jack, there, like, I think most people could probably handle it. But the fact that it was Fury that kind of exposed why they that, that kind of like send his his Stanleys and the, like the new the newcomers to him that, that, that like to this day shit into overdrive him for for Fury because they can't have a, a big fat white dude can beat someone like Wilder, yeah. even though. Skills wise, I mean, it proved that you know Fury actually has something in Wilder, Fury doesn't. <laughs> Boxing ain't a beauty pageant, man. It's about who could go in and be the most effective. Like we've seen fights where the guy who's lesser skilled won, won. right? You know, skills ain't the the end all be all. Just like certain intangibles ain't the end all be all. Like yeah, like I mean, be, be, have, being chiseled and everything like that doesn't necessarily mean that you're you know you can fight. I mean, it's really not the case, you know. Yeah. And we never really seen, you know, everybody gets into this because Wilder's always looks fit in shape, but he's never really had to show it in the ring because he fights at a super slow, measured pace where he tries to avoid punishment. He just only tries, you know, he tries to avoid major punishment and he just tries to line up his, his big shot, like... And this is, and that's why too, like I said, just there are certain fights, like I mean, with the with the reveal with Joshua too, it's also the reason why dude, I mean, he pretty much looked for that he 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 didn't want to fight Dillian White because Dillian White would have got him. Like, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of guys that Wilder could have fought that could have prepared him for the Fury rematch, you know, for that type of style, somebody aggressively stepping to him and taking away his right hand. But like I said, he was. You know they they moved him with a real calculative approach, and, and right. this is what you get. You could sometimes be too smart, mm-hmm. or sometimes is you know the luck runs out. You know because luck was involved with this nigga. Trust me, like, <laughs> and you even though I'm not one of these lucky punch ass niggas, like, like <laughs> situations favored him because the, the whole. The first fight was a draw. Like, that was love. Yeah. And it shouldn't have been. I mean, that was a Fury win. In a- yeah. Anybody who thinks that shit was a draw, like, you, you know, I question your boxing and judging eyes. Yeah. You know, there, there was nothing to draw about that fight. I mean, the knockdowns, I feel like I said, you know, the knockdowns made, you know, made people uh, sway. You know, we have idiots that think, well, if you knock down somebody twice in a the fight, they automatically win. Doesn't work. Doesn't work that way in boxing. But nah, but those, and, and those are the same people. The, the funny thing is that the ironic part is those are the same people that will say that Marquez beat Pacquiao in the first fight, even though he got dropped three times. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bunch of things. Like, I mean, you, you, I mean, you can win a fight. I mean, I think most people like this. Is what you people, you, you can tell when people don't watch boxing enough. You know, you can win a fight if you get knocked down twice and you don't return the knockdown. It's happened with plenty of examples. Yeah. Usually, that one, the only time knockdowns comes into play when you don't return a knockdown is you if you get knocked down like four times. Because that's the thing. If you if you win in all those other rounds, then yeah, you know, I mean, have we it, seen it with uh, Klitschko, Peter, mm-hmm. Peter McCline? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, nah. Peter McCline was wild fight. Like, like McCline was literally dribbling this nigga Sam Peter that night. Hell yeah, and, and Peter barely won on those cards. Yeah, but but he won though. He pulled it out, and and it's like he had to fucking do some. Uh, t- he had to take back his words and and say now nah, he understood how how Klitschko beat him and how you could win and be knocked down, you know, several times and. Right. Sometimes you don't understand shit until you go through it, but if you have the wisdom, you could learn from other people's experiences and and not have to go through it to learn. So mm-hmm. it is one of those. And and with a guy like Wilder, if you're only training him to land or do one thing, he's never gonna win rounds. So he's not gonna expend that much energy. Think about it. If you go into a fight only looking for one shot, mm-hmm. and you fight like that, yeah, 
I mean, and that's not even trying to set it up. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the shit he was saying before. It's like, our only one shot, you know, and, you know, and, you know, you have to be perfect. All right, I'm going to be perfect for one, you know, and that whole bullet. You know? Especially if you find the level of guys that can't see the gimmick or the trick involved or, or the little thing you do that tips it off. Like, neither can his fans. <laughs> But yeah, but the thing is, it's like it's different being in the ring, but still, like we all saw how he kind of he lets you come in and then he explodes out. Like he takes that half step back and he explodes in. We all saw how you know he does certain shit. We all seen him get outboxed by lesser guys or people on his level. It's just they can't overcome the right hand or they can't dodge it or, or hurt him early when they outboxing him. So. You know, we seen it there. It just he didn't fight another like he needed to fight like a Kamnaki, uh, uh, uh Andy Ruiz, a Tresora, um, a Dylan White. Like all those guys are a level below Tyson Fury, but they would have developed Wilder. Exactly. Uh, a passive Ariola ain't gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> Prime Ariola maybe, but. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's just, like I said, it's just the whole situation with Wilder right now. It's like it, he, he's he's an embarrassment. He's a true embarrassment. Like, like there, yeah. there, there needs to be like a real backlash against him. Like, there, like there's going to be like, like, but like I said though, for some reason though, his stance like it's I don't understand why it's so hard for people to believe that Wilder lost the fight. Like, you know, it's just like I, I guess I guess when you believe it, like. It, People still believe so much in him and what he did because social media created a new type of stand where it'll be a a, a, a stand a, like a fan of a fighter that only follows them mm-hmm. because they're black or they yeah. kind of speak on some socially conscious issues and so right. they want to feel like they're supporting that right so exactly they kind of just ride with everything that person's doing. And they try to act like they know the sport, but they only know the sport through that person's eyes. So exactly, and, and you get a lot of these, you know, fake ass hotel pro boxing f- fans and shit, and bunch of hype beasts there, like hype niggas, beast. niggas, like, niggas that only like the candy. You know, it's like you know, you know, it's just like you know, learn the fucking sport. Like you know, what what like you know. Like I mean, you, should, you can develop a lot. You can develop opinions without having to be a fucking Stanley. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like I mean, and what Wilder's doing is clown shit. Like, it, like in certain like if Wilder, like Wilder should be clown. I mean, even though even fighters aren't even rocking with this. Like, like there's a whole like especially with the Breland shit. Like a lot of people are like, yeah, no. Like literally everyone has said Breland did the right thing. You know, for this fight, no one is rocking with Wilder on this shit, and then she says all this crazy shit. And there's one thing too, with Wilder, because you know, Wilder has a kind of audience that he likes to go to, as as LB mentioned before. You know, where he likes to go and actually vent. You know, because he won't do it to certain mainstream ones because people they'll ask him the uncomfortable questions, or they'll point out some, of, they'll, they'll point out the the double talking. Whereas the other yeah. one, like, well, yeah, you know, definitely, I think, well, I think, yeah, you know, I definitely agree, Deontay, you know, he very did look at his hands like this. So, yeah, if you see them pictures, you know, you can clearly see that he slipped his glove. It's that whole bunch of bullshit, you know? Yeah, he could just, it, yeah, it's like Pat said, it's like, it's fucking venting for dude. There's no interviews and, and you know, shame on the boxing media and platforms out here that kind of do this shit. Fighters, you can't ask them no real questions, you know, because a lot of y'all don't really know no real boxing, so you know, it'll come off, and that's why guys like Jamal Charlo would be annoyed like that time with Mannix at that interview, yeah, it's, it's, it's and like rightfully so, yeah, and, and rightfully so, because it's like you asking people the same. Like stupid cliche questions. Yeah, like, these, these these dudes don't know shit from applesauce, and they want to interview these and talk about these fighters. Like you don't know what you're talking about. Little, exactly, and the little shit you do know about them, it's like you try to placate them so hard, like you literally sucking them off. Like you 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 know, like I I can't rock with no shit like that. Like like the way the way boxing set up now, 
I hate, I, I'm not really even a fan of like interviews because everything just feels so agenda driven and, mm-hmm. and because it's it is. Guys, yeah, it's just guys just saying whatever and nothing's going to come out of it. So, <laughs> right. I, I'm not really a fan of like, like oh, that 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 part of boxing is like I rather just fuck with like the training aspects and the fight itself and and you know the hype promo or or if you put a boxer in a different environment like mm-hmm. like hey did you know this nigga like the bowl or yeah exactly <laughs> you know you know some shit like that and yeah you know then then cool you know so maybe you know a lot of boxing promoters they could focus on that aspect because. If y'all just let niggas talk and tell their side of the story and you know and they get that you don't really could ask them the tough questions it's like mm-hmm. you know like that that's, that's why i know so a lot of people they like floyd but it's like a lot of floyd interviews be hit or miss because if you're not giving if you're not forcing him to speak on a specific thing and especially something he don't mind talking about you're gonna just get him Saying a bunch of bullshit, right? And it's like I ain't, I ain't trying to listen to that for twenty minutes, like nigga. <laughs> Whereas back in the day, like you could ask a, a fighter about certain fighters, whatever, and the conversation will flow, and you could ask a tough question, and the dude might get pissed, but he'll he'll answer the question. He'll say this, whatever. It's, it just you got more of a real. You got more of the real is what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. like, like, I know people get at guys like Merchant and Jim Gray, but you know sometimes you need the, that asshole nature just to come out. And even Max used to fucking you know force you to answer questions. Right. It came to the point like the qu- like that's the best part of the fight now because that's the only time you really got to see a boxer speak for real. Yeah. And, and now, I think you missing that now. Yeah, now, now everything is like, you know, you got to call on a boxer, you know, and, and, and dancing water, especially, you really got to call him because it's like, you can't let anything, you can't let him show weakness, you know, you can't let him show weakness in, in anything. So, I mean, so now you, pretty much you have. Because in, interviews are becoming extinct because social media, these niggas could just go on live and say what the fuck they want. So. Yeah. Why not drill these niggas with real shit when you interview them? Yeah, and they don't because most of and that's the, that's the problem. Like, you know, it's just like okay, uh, yeah, because I mean, because obviously a, fight, a fighter will give them attention. Sometimes we'll give them some money, you know, payola, and then you know, they and then you know they push the, they push a narrative that's not really something they should be pushing. Then if you're gonna do that, then do a whole different subject or ask questions that you know he'll be comfortable he could really embellish and make a good interview but right you know no one wants no damn you know dramatic monologue of niggas you know feeling themselves exactly and, and avoiding that, real shit and, and that's pretty much what it is with, what, with wilder like that interview that he that he did with the, with, the, with a certain media entity you know it was, it, it, it was especially like right thing no one checking him and it got released, and he looked like a damn, and he looked like a damn fool. Like, yeah. like literally, like he he, he double talked himself, like he contradicted himself. He pretty much he, he pretty much made a liar, I mean, a liar of, of certain people for nothing when they were actually trying to benefit him. They were trying to get him money, touch by stuff, actually improve his legacy. Because, like, I mean, let's be all honest, like Wilder's legacy. For a guy who has a like, nothing in this record that's like notable enough, you know, I, I, you've already heard me mention before. He's only he's only beaten two ch- people that were champions at, at one point, you know. So it's just like I mean, Fury and Joshua have actually beaten more with, with half the fights, but practically. <laughs> you know, of course, so, it's like though Wilder's had like one of the most, you know, shallowest, meaningless careers out there, man. Like, right. He, and, you know, I know people are gonna say, you know, ten heavyweight title defenses, yeah, but against what, my nigga? Against what? Yeah, it's like I mean, and what did he do? Like Mark Tyson had nine, ten title defenses, but he unified the division, and and, and, that, and that's another thing too I want to definitely touch upon too. 
you know, like, like I mean, at the peak of Wilder Mania, you know, there was a, if we talk about this on the time, there was a big disrespect on him and Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson, you know, was overrated, but Deontay Wilder, for some reason, was not. You know, like in what world, like in any boxing gym, if you go to a boxing Oh, yeah, gym, yeah, but, 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 but you lost to Buster Douglas. You were like, oh my God. And don't even get me started with that. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, I mean, like, I mean, literally, like, I mean, there was stuff about water, like, you get, la- if you go to an actual boxing room, you get laughed out of there. <laughs> you know, you know, if you think there's any comparison between a Deontay Water and then Mike Tyson, you know, so it's just like, you know, like, and, and, and it was just, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people got disrespected, you know, got lied on for this dude, like, and... It, 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 honestly, it's time to get water out of here. Like, it, 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 I think it's time. You know, it's like I mean. Yeah, I, th- I think he's gonna be making his departure because I, I think he's made he made what what, what fifty mil for the Fury rematch or something. Yeah. Like, dude, like dude made a lot of money in a short amount of time. Or, or a short amount of time. He got overpaid as fuck for the Brazil fight. Like, like yeah. he got like what twenty mil for that, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, dude, I mean, dude got paid. Like, I mean, he has a left- Ortiz fight was pay per view, right? Yeah, both Ortiz fights. Oh, actually, no, no, nah, the second one. The second one was the first one was on regular Showtime. Yeah, so that that niggas made money. Like, he didn't make the type of money that he could have made if he'd have fought Joshua. He ain't made no Joshua money, but he's he's made some good money. Like, he yeah. probably made. More- He's made money, more money than probably a lot of boxers out there. Um, That's facts. It just it looks worse because he could have made a lot more than that. But yeah, and he been yeah. killing himself too. Yeah, because he was so busy trying to push a narrative that he because the real niggas knew we knew the truth that he yeah. he didn't want the Joshua fight. They cherry picked Fury. They took a gamble, cherry pick, and it, it bit him in the ass in the long run. And, they didn't try to improve, and, and now we here, and and, and it, it is what it is. Like he has enough fights where if he was to retire, no one would say anything. It just he has one of those Leo Santa Cruz type of whole bunch of fucking meaningless fights type of nigga, and and even then Leo Santa Cruz I think has a better career. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like- so you know. It, it just, it's just like you mentioned Chris John before, yeah. I think, honestly, yeah. I mean, his, his career will probably go the way of Chris John. Like, all, Chris John has a shitload of title defenses. But once he lost, he was a rap. Nobody yeah. cared about no damn Chris John. Stop that. No, Wilder ain't going to be remembered for shit, bro. I'm telling you. He's going to be, I mean, yeah, Chris John, though, like, I mean, that that's a stretch to me. But I no, Not to me. I hate it. I, I thought I thought Chris John was overrated as fuck. I mean, I'd rather watch a, a Wilder fight than a Chris John fight any day. So I don't even know about that. Wilder's fights are pretty damn boring, really. They're dramatic <laughs> because you know the KO could come anytime. But if if Wilder's fights are boring, then Chris John's fights are. Oh my god! I, 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 if I never have to watch another Chris John fight again, you you have to pay me to watch another Chris John fight. I mean, but I never really looked at Chris John as boring like that though. Like it's it's just a decent fight. Like I I, I thought it was overrated as fuck. Just like I think over while it's overrated, but like yeah, like, like, yeah, we're both overrated but for, for different reasons. Yeah, like Chris John was over uh, Chris John had you know held the held that was and I felt the way belt for a hot minute, but never unified and then once he got like the big high once he actually came to America you know, there were fights that he probably should have fucking lost. He 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 hightailed like he did. He did two American fights with Rocky World and hightailed at once. You know, you know they were like okay, he should have lost one of those Rocky Juarez fights. He, he should. You know, you know damn. Yeah, my nigga Rocky Juarez can't catch. Right. A fucking I was gonna say, you know, Rocky Juarez doing Rocky Juarez things. Yeah, and then like I said, getting what, Rocky Juarez jobbed. <laughs> You know, and the fucking thing with you know, and then like the second though, like uh, someone has all those tower defenses, but you know, the, well once he lost, he was he was gone. Like Wilder too, Wilder had ten tower defenses as heavyweight champion. 
He's gone. I mean, I I still think there's a, there's a place for him, but I don't want to say. Where? He's gone. I don't know. Like what? What place? The most manufactured career ever. <laughs> like, all the other sport, like now, Man, we got builders, builder thoughts. Then we got builder boxers. That's wilder. They put all the attributes in his right hand. Yeah, because with Wilder, because Wilder now has to rebuild. Like Wilder, like for his legacy, Wilder has to kill somebody. Like he has, to, he has to kill a Fury, or he has to try to kill a Joshua, or something like that. He has, and he has to do it and not get exposed by someone that we perceive as being a lesser fighter, a lesser heavyweight. See, and that's the thing. Like, I don't know if they're gonna risk that because the person he has to fight has to be credible. Mm-hmm. Like, like a like a Dillian White. Not even that credible, but like credible. But the thing is, now that people see that he could lose two different ways, mm-hmm. everybody's gonna choose to let me go at him way, because not everybody could box like Tyson Fury. Like you know, like 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 what would happen like if this so dude- so niggas would take more chances. Like what? Would, look, like what would happen if dude, well, you know, fought, like fought, let's, let's say a Robert Hellenius and gets knocked out? That's not gonna look too good for him. You know, that's yeah, true. That's that, true. Count Cal- Cal- Naki, that shit ain't look good for him. Yeah, that's true. That, so like, yeah, so the, so Wilder is pretty much on borrowed time. Like, it's, like I said, it's yeah. only, that's yeah. why. I said, that's why I feel like he he'll probably end up retiring. It's if a guy like Ward could retire, when I think with less fights. And made less money, but you know, yeah, still. Well, well, War was hurt, so I, I don't think that he wanted to retire. But and that's a whole different yeah, story. I don't know. I think it was moving like he wanted to retire from from a minute, man. <laughs> and then I think he got some lawsuit or some shit now. But well, he got the lawsuit one. with the Lloyds of London because they had a policy out him, like because he was hurt with the knee. Like that's all I'm saying. Like, but that's a whole but different he story. He did all that boxing, so it's like, yeah, no, it's... Yeah, it, yeah. If your knee hurt like that, you ain't going to, you ain't trying to fight no fucking Kovalev. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna argue with a nigga that ha- that's had that has knee issues. So you would know better than I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you got real knee issues, you are gonna look like Sean Bay Mitchell versus Costa Zoo in the first. Oh, fight. oh Lord, cut it out! <laughs> no, I'm I'm serious, bro. No, no, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's, there's levels to that shit, bro. <laughs> The like the Canelo got D issues, but the but he ran his ass off in that damn first Golovkin fight. Knee <laughs> issues, my ass, nigga. You, yeah, run for your life issues, nigga. Like so, so I I, I look at knee issues a little sideways sometimes. I I be needed more evidence, like because I I know through fucking <laughs> yeah, I be like I be knowing. <laughs> You know, but just to get you know, get back on track to you know to wrap things up, man. Like I said, Wilder, you know, like I said, I mean, the interview, the comments were unwarranted. His slander against Mark Brilliant is unwarranted. Yeah. So, Hell well, unwarranted. No, well, no one isn't the who. Basically, you, you gotta take but fighters. The best fighters, the best shape is to take accountability for the action. Yeah. And try to be, you know, come back stronger. Yeah, and and one excuse is- minimum. Now, the funny thing is that um, I, I was I came across a tweet earlier about um, how I forgot that George Foreman did the same thing when he lost to Ali. Oh, oh yeah, I seen that. <laughs> he drugged all oh, the ropes was too loose. Oh, like fired his trainer. I'm like, damn. Like, what is all these excuses? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we we didn't have social media back in Foreman's time, but. Yeah, I mean, it took, it took Foreman 20 years to get over that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, but but it's the thing, like, that's the goal, man. That, that was one of the most meaningful heavyweight fights of all time. Like, if Foreman wins that fight, he's probably looked at as the goal. Yeah. yeah. And he lost. So, I mean, has there ever been a boxing match, you know, where it's like, you know, whoever loses or wins is going to be looked at as the GOAT, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and it's heavyweights too, man. Like, yeah, heavyweight. I mean, you've been in the gym, man. Them niggas got egos, man. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like all of them have egos, but definitely heavyweights. Yeah, all heavyweights. Yeah, especially boxers have egos, but heavyweights is like on another level. Like, nah, I, I, like I, you gotta cut them, cut them a little bit. Yeah, for for me, like I feel like the the biggest the people with the biggest egos are the heavyweights and the light heavyweights. Yeah, you know, so it's just like I mean, so water. I mean, it, like honestly, if he doesn't have the mental makeup, he doesn't want to get like the help to help him uh, like, to come and get over this loss, man. If you, like I mean, basically like. <laughs> Either don't fight or someone will get him out of the sport. I, mean, I, feel, I, I feel like he's trying to like just parlay this into a third fight, but like not doing it right now. Like I, I kind of have that sneaky suspicion. How much fucking time you need, though? <laughs> Especially like when when we know you don't have the mindset to train like that. I mean, dude is thirty five. Like time is time. I mean, his prime. Is th- I mean, it, I mean, he's already getting injured too. Let's not. Even- he gets injured a lot. He's already thirty-five. He has like what forty something fights. <laughs> like I'm telling you, like it has all the makings of a retire. Like yeah. I see yeah. Canelo the same way. Like all those fights he's had, the level of amount of money he's made, like yeah. I mean, the amount I mean, of activity. I, I, I've said. It. I mean, while I mean, I said Wilder is pretty much uh, like I said. I mean, it's, it, it, it's almost out of sports. Either someone will push him out, because we all know, like you know, we all said, for a third, a third, a loss to Fury again yeah, probably ends his career, especially if he gets knocked I mean, out. I mean, a loss to anybody I, I, right now ends his career. Yeah. I mean, I've said that I thought that all top three guys will, might be out in the next three to five years. Yes. Yeah, so for for what, other for, reasons, for pound for pound or like heavyweights, no, no, heavyweights. Like I could see yeah, all Fury like Wilder, 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 Fury, and and Joshua. I could see them all being out within the next three to five years. For other for not for all the same reasons, for different reasons, but just for one reason or the other. I I think Joshua will hang around longer than all of them, but well, I he think might. He the whole. <laughs> meaningful career as far as like the pro- most progressive fights yeah I, like fury i just feel like fury's i see like he's like the type of guy that like he likes the antics and the and the showmanship and the fuckery but i can see him just getting bored with it all and just getting tired of it like emotionally and mentally getting tired of it i, mean, I just think at that size you know once you six nine and all that shit like your body start breaking down on you. He ain't gonna want to keep up with the training, right? Especially if, if for top fights, yeah. <laughs> like Tyson Fury, he'd probably be done by twenty twenty two. Yeah, I, I, I like I, 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 you could actually see it like, after Joshua. He'll probably it's like you know, you know, I'm not gonna take my name twice. I'm gonna. I'll just there's, there's no other real fights like, like he gotta fight. Uh, Joshua really if he fight Joshua beat Joshua he's done like yeah no one else on the horizon like no one else made a move to kind of separate themselves like the only other people floating around you you know like Dylan White has to beat Povetkin because now it's like since he lost to Povetkin it's like I don't you know who cares about a white Fury yeah, well, now he has to reestablish himself. That's what I'm saying. There's so many moving pieces that there's still a place for for Wilder. That, that, that's why I'm like, that, that, like you guys are like, well, he he, you know, well, he's out of here. Know, like, true, like, dude, Wilder's always had opponents, but has Wilder wanted to take them? Remember, he ain't want to unify with fucking Chris Martin, dude. Like. Uh, I mean Charles, Charles Martin. Charles Martin. I was like, who the hell is Chris Martin? Dude, he he ain't want to he ain't want to unify with Charles Martin, bro. Yeah. Or Vlad, like, for that matter. Or, or Vladimir. So come on, like with the Vladimir thing, I could kind of get because he's been in camp with him, trained with him. He probably saw some shit, you know. He ain't want to see like probably by I think what he got KO'd and sparring with headgear too, like. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I I could kind of forgive the Vlad shit. I remember he's young. 
you know, that was an uphill fight for him. But the Charles Martin, nah, mm-mm, no, nah, that was probably the easiest unification fight to set up. Like, but you had your man sell the belt to damn AJ, so yeah, exactly. And then, you know, so I can't, I can't forgive that. Uh uh-uh. uh, yeah, so yeah, so while, they're like, I mean, while there's a place, it just depends on a is it, does he want that place, and two, are they, is he gonna get the right opponent that'll keep him at that particular place. Like I said, Too many fucking factors. Yeah, because his, his skill set is, is is not. Does he want to wake up at five a.m. and go to the gym and learn how to jab for the first time? Or does he want to go in there and let niggas get into his chest and rough him up and start landing fades on him? And so it's like, yeah, because that's gonna happen if he's learning how to, you know, relearning how to box. Because I don't know what the fuck he's been learning this up to now, like. Not saying he ain't been boxing in the gym. He has, but the flaws just kind of, you know, grew legs and mm -mm. mm-mm. At this level, nah. Correct them now, nigga too rich. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. I mean, Wilder, you know, like I said, you hate to see it, but this time You take being yelled at differently, like. (laughs) Yeah, 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 of course you hate to see it. Like, think about it, like, like I don't like other like grown men, grown trainers yelling at this dude from to keep his hand up to turn his fist over. This that that nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But hey, I'll be I'll be pleasantly surprised if he fights a dangerous guy or or, or somebody with a you know with a heartbeat. And yeah, we can yeah, yeah, this discussion then. Doesn't. You know, doesn't wait, doesn't get outboxed for how many different rounds and lands and lands one right hand to end the fight. I mean, if, if the same shit happens like it always happens, then hey, it's whatever. But you got to take the fight first, like facts. So I, if he just take the fight, that kind of show me something different. But if not, so his his performance is a whole nother matter. <laughs> <laughs> also facts. Oh man, these boxers, man. You know, these heavyweights, man. They're they're and getting niggas at deluxe episode this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yo, the double album. <laughs> but yo, the yeah. double album. But yo, let me back this up because you know we we definitely yeah. we so uh so yeah, you know, yeah, that was our you know our show for tonight. Yeah, we definitely gave y'all a little you know, we gave you a lot of things to muse on, to listen to. And then you can tell your friends, you can share with them and everything like that. So you know, before we get up out of here, man, um, uh, Pete, do you have any final thoughts? Um, boxers need to stop being hoes. Okay, that's that's the first thing. Stop making excuses. Um, you know, mm. get your ass and get your ass in shape. Do better next time. Fucking don't. I don't want to hear. Oh, I lost because so and so put something in my Gatorade. And, uh, yeah, like no, nah, we, we don't want, we don't want to hear that no more. We off. We off. <laughs> so get back in the gym. Do better. Get better people around you. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, let's en- let's enjoy our our boxing while we have it. Uh, let's keep let's keep let's keep it going. Keep it going. Um, we, had a, we had a great great weekend. And I want more, more, more boxing, more, uh, uppercuts, more uppercuts, because you know we love our uppercuts. But you know, you know that's that's all I got to say about that. Other than that, you you know you know what it is. Ringgangradio.com. You know, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. You know the vibes. Oh, yeah. He's seventeen. He's only seventeen, yo. Yeah, nah, fuck all that. <laughs> Hey, yo, LB, nah, I, I, I get my hype up. I get my uh, ad lib game on. I mean, feeling like the diplomatic immunity intro <laughs> uh, on uh, uh, a J Hood freestyle on a on that uh, clue tape. <laughs> He's seventeen. Oh <laughs> uh, man, but yeah, um, it was nice. Uh, I feel like you know, get y'all niggas that heat. That heat rock episode, you know, there's a lot of shit to talk about. It feel, you know, back in the game, been going through some shit lately. So I probably hear that in my voice. And, you know, we had a good card to kind of bring me back to life. So you know, I'm, I'm happy for it. Um, 
other than that, other than that, um, you know, Scorpio season has arrived. Dropping some new music later on and some other shit coming through. Um, but just keep following us, like King P said earlier. We're gonna be having new polls, new, new everything, new shit. Just you know the deal, man. Ringgameradio.com forever. New shit all the time. <laughs> Yes, sir. I mean, my only final thoughts is, and I tell you, this week, this week, brief, uh, we do have boxing next weekend. We didn't really want to, touch it. we didn't really want to preview it. But I figured this would be worth mentioning. And my final thoughts, you know, we got Devin Haney versus Yuri Elkis. Mm, yeah. And then we have BBC on the same night on Fox with Luis Ortiz facing someone uh, I've, I've never seen fight before. Double <laughs> yawn. You yeah. hold on, that's on what Fox? A uh, regular Fox, yeah. Oh, come Saturday? on, like seriously, like yeah, what? this should be an FS1 card. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna say anymore. Yeah, that should be a no card. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. While there is Boston, you know, unfortunately, it's, it's not like the last couple of weekends. So uh, we got spoiled, huh? We did so. So yeah, I mean, so there's boxing. So yeah, check it out. You know, like I mean, you may see some fuckery or whatever, but I doubt the it. Toaster leaving special. <laughs> yeah. This is toaster leaving weekend, y'all. Seriously, but yeah, you know, but yeah, that, that's pretty much my final thoughts. Like the brothers already said, you know, what needed to be said without a ring gang, and you know, you know, make sure you follow us on like, everything we do, listen to everything that we do, you know, just to, you know, get get your mind right. Uh, so yeah, so for myself, past corporate New England representer, you know, for LB Shadow with the God the Goat Artist, for King P Bodega P, you know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, till next time. Peace. <laughs>